Developing news from Redondo Beach where police are trying to solve a decades old cold case. DNA evidence recently helped identify the victim whose remains were found more than 20 years ago near a construction site. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister live now in Redondo Beach where authorities just spoke about the investigation. Lauren. Glenn, a press conference wrapping up just a short time ago. What has long been a cold case is now a very active homicide investigation now that the victim, who was previously a Jane Doe, has been identified. Take a look. Catherine Parker Johnson has been identified as the victim in what is a homicide case that investigators are now uh, looking for answers in. They figured out our identification through a femur bone, DNA technology, and an elaborate search involving the nonprofit DNA Doe Project that put together this elaborate family tree, building it out in order to identify their victim who died at 24 years old. Parker Johnson's roots are in Tennessee. That's where her daughter and sister were ultimately tracked down. Parker Johnson was last seen there in 1981 when police say she left to relocate to Inglewood and went missing. But that was never reported. Her ident unidentified remains were found in 2001 in a backyard on Wallacott Street in Redondo by some when doing construction in 2019, cold case investigators taking it up, finally figuring out who that victim was, but not a lot is known about any connection to where her remains were discovered. The crime occurred so long ago in the condition that these, the partial skeleton was found and the residents had turned over. There's very limited information about the actual direct connection to that location. However, that has been explored by the investigators and the little bits of pieces about the location, the residential area and the time frame have provided some useful information, but no direct connection to that residence. So now they really want anybody who may have known Katherine Parker Johnson, traveled with her to Inglewood, lived with her when she was here, or just known anything about her, to give them a call. There are the phone numbers there for the investigators who are on this case, as well as an email tip line. They really want inform any information so they can bring justice to the family so many decades later. Back out here live, look, you can see a picture of the site where uh, her remains were discovered that yard there, but as you heard, it's turned over many times. Not a lot is known in, in as far as a connection to the original property, which still remains a residential area. But we have a major question answered. Who was the victim? Now the question is, who was it that took her life? We'll have a lot more coming up in the next hour. For now, that's the latest live here in Redondo Beach. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. All right.